Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to be reacting to a fan film on YouTube. Uh, this one dropped back at the end of May, May 24th, I believe. And uh, so it's been around for a couple and a half weeks. Uh, it's almost got a million views. Uh, I stumbled across it last night and was completely blown away by it. It's only, uh, you know, it's only uh, about five and a half minutes long. Um, really take away the top, the end credits is probably about like four minutes, 40 seconds long. Um, made by one guy, Christopher Parks. Um, he's been working on this for about four years and it's amazing. It's called Star Wars X-Wing and it is um, really pretty cool. I'm not going to show you a whole lot because like I said, it's only about four minutes and 40 seconds long. Uh, but I just wanted to show you like a couple things here and there and uh, talk to you about it, like let you know what I thought about it. Uh, this is the first one, this is the opening, this is the opening uh, credit, I guess. Well, this is the opening title because there are no opening credits, but this is the, and I have it muted. You're not gonna hear it because they are using licensed music in it. Um, and I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything against me. Uh, but I do want to show off what Mr. Parks here has done because it's phenomenal. This is the first sequence you're going to get shots like this all throughout the scene. Um, so this is what it looks like here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is based on um, Star Wars X-Wing, the video game, but it's also based on Star Wars X-Wing, the series uh, created by Michael Stackpole that he wrote years ago uh, i read all of them i loved it this is actually based off the very first book the Kratos trap uh if you ever read it you probably have a good idea of what's going on here <clears throat> basically the wraiths are the the, the empire is on the run after the events of return of the jedi and the new republic has decided to take advantage of this and launch a full-scale assault on coruscant the home world the home go home governing planet in the star wars universe and um, this race, the race squad, it's their job to get in and lower these shields so that the rest of the um, rebellion fleet can get in and start tearing stuff up. Uh, as you can tell, they're in there with some A wings and some B wings. I'm all about B wings. Anytime there are B wings in a shot, I'm going to be happy. Uh, I think that's the coolest fighter ship in, in, in Star Wars, and technically it's a bomber, I know. But um, I have loved that ship ever since I saw it. And uh, so anytime and when I saw it in here, I was just giddy. I just love the B-Wings. If you don't know what the B-Wing is, it's the right one right there in the upper right and also down towards the bottom left center uh, that looks like a giant B. Uh, I mean, <laughs> like a giant blade, like a, like a dagger. Um, but it's called B-Wing 4 because it looks like a blade. And that's what it was named after. So the uh, so you're gonna get shots like this, which are just phenomenal. Uh, he did this in like four years by himself, and I'm just completely staggered that somebody was actually actually able to do this uh, and get shots like this one here. Like, are you kidding me? Like, a dude on his own computer is doing this. And you take a look at that shot and tell me that's not a Lucasfilm shot. Tell me that's not a shot from one of the, from one of the movies. This is gorgeous. His, his construction of Coruscant is just magnificent in the details. The flight tactics that they're using in here come straight out of the book. The book was, Michael Stackpole did a fantastic job of, show, of, of illustrating flight tactics. Um, and how the X-Wings worked and how they maneuvered. And he shows a lot of that in this movie. If you're a fan of the X-Wing at all, um, this is a great movie to see how they move. There's there's a, a shot here coming up that I want to show you um, where it shows how, they're, how maneuverable they are and how they're able to really kind of kind of turn on, at a 90 degree angle on a slide using their, using their uh, repulsors. Um, so it's really cool to see, and it looks something like this. Right there. So, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, it's just, it just, watching this whole, whole thing is just awesome to see. 
Um, this is kind of like watching like the last battle of like a ninety-minute, two-hour movie, and you're catching up on like on like the last action scene. But it's, but I'm just blown away by the by the just detail in not only in the ships and in the fight tactics, but also in the background. Um, there's a massive explosion that takes place behind them a little bit towards the beginning and when it circles around and turns around like it's still there and just the smoke has just gotten even bigger like he doesn't just like have the explosion and, and that's pretty cool and all and then it's kind of like forgotten you never see it again like it pops back up in the background again um so he just he pays a lot of attention to deal detail and i'm just really impressed with it. i'm going to show you one more shot here because i don't want to give too much away um that i really want i'm going to post the link below for sure for you guys to go see this yourselves because you got to take a look at this like i said it's only about five minutes long uh but this right here is just amazing <laughs> yeah that's a tie avenger uh you get a nice close-up of it right there um but like shades of the death star fight from um uh, Endor from Star Wars from from Episode Four. Uh, you get a small little trench run in here because you can't have an X-wing fight without a trench run. Uh, and then the ending is just awesome. You can like if he spent four years on this, you know, five minute movie. I guarantee you, like one year, maybe a year and a half was probably just was probably done on like that final. 45 seconds or so like it's, it's staggering last minute or so like it's, it's amazing um, So I highly recommend it uh, Please go check it out. I'm gonna put all the links below so you guys can check it out yourselves and uh, Definitely follow this guy. It, the channel is Noble Engine uh, The director was Christopher Parks. Uh, he also has a link in there to another uh, Fan film that they did called destroyer. That's also amazing um, starting the same guys in it um so definitely check that out as well if you like this if you dug it please hit that like button hit subscribe uh share this and definitely leave me a comment below let me tell me what you thought of it go watch it come back and tell me if you agree with me tell me what your favorite parts was uh just because this for 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 a for an x-wing fan for a star wars fan like these are the kind of things that we live for it's just awesome that we have fans that with this kind of talent able to do this stuff and we really need to support them any way we can so thanks for being here i hope you guys hope to, hope to catch you guys next time you know, have a great day bye